Okay, so here's the Galaxy S3. We're gonna do a battery change. The battery type is here in this pocket. Okay, so here's the battery type we're gonna use. So basically, you want to do this very carefully. Where is this corner where you see here is the catch, how to get in to open it right there. You see there? And that has this cover, the small cover here. You have to remove this cover that goes into this perforated area. Once you take this part out, which you have to poke it out, pray with something like this, something sharp, you pray this housing, then you'll be able to pray the whole things out, take this cable off. We have two cables here. This one here, right there, you move out, and there is a smaller one that actually goes to this one here. Get something sharp that goes right here. This one. You have to move this one and this one and unscrew this fellow here to move it out. So I'm gonna go and pause and do this and come back. So after you remove it, it will look like this, and this will come out. Now you have to do one more screw to take this black housing outside so you could access the battery. That's where the battery is, right there. So I'm going to remove it and come back. And now, when you remove that screw, you're going to end up with this. You have to disconnect that cable where you see there in order to be to replace in the battery. So I'm going to do that and then come back. Now you can see what the battery looks like. One on, on the left is what I purchased on Amazon. The one on the right is the original one. And still working the cable. This is different model. This is a newer model of the gear. So they're all different. And this one, as you can see, is a different design. So I will proceed with the cable and come back. And now you have to carefully remove this circuit board from the back over here. So you could release this tab right here where the battery attachment is. You see it? So that's what you have to get to after removing this. So here we go again. I'm gonna go on pause and remove and come back. Okay, so you have to be very carefully to disengage. You see this here? This is where the battery attachment is gonna be, right there. Which is right this guy here. So you have to carefully remove this. Once you remove this, now everything is reversed to put it back together. So make a very good understanding where everything is. These are for the buttons, which you have to disengage them from these two sides here on the other side, which is this side here. Okay, we're gonna do that now. 
Okay, I'll put the body in. Now you can see that little dots on the corner. You have to make sure that you follow these dots right here. See? That's what you know that the orientation of the cable is correct. So that is the orientation. This is for after I put the circuit board on, I attach this to the circuit board. So you see how the housing, how it sits, where this goes. That's very important, the orientation. So you have to pay attention to the orientation. So now I'm gonna install the circuit board here and come back. Okay, so I put the circuit board back in. You don't have to force it, you just basically snap. It easily snaps and these two cables you see on the side, those are for the buttons. So you have to make sure these are in the right place, just like the way it is right now. Sitting nice and firm into the housing. Okay, and you see how the circuit board is close in to the plastic housing. So this board has to say it correctly with the right orientation. So remember, we have a little cable here, it's stuck in there, I have to pull it out and attach it to this one here, that housing there. So that's your orientation. Very careful, I'll be back. Okay, you see I pulled the cable out underneath the housing. Now I'm gonna attach it to snap it right on. So and that will be the end of it. Now I'll show you after that. So remember the orientation. Okay, so now you see that screw there is in. I have to make sure that screw is tight. These cables are back in the connection and the buttons are going to be able to make a contact with these two cables here. So you have to feel them, make sure they're working. And now I'm going to proceed with the other half to put together. And this connector here is going to guide me the orientation of the next piece that needs to come in because that's where it's going to connect, snap right into it. Okay. Here we go. All set and working. Good luck, guys.